County Public Library's Yoga Time. This is beginner's lesson number three. Today we're going to concentrate on thinking about how we can be generous and giving to other people. For this, let's imagine that we're going to be in a backyard garden. And in that garden are lots of bees and butterflies. They are insects that help us and they're generous and giving to us. Let's begin by sitting in a bee seat. For this, we need to get up on our knees and sit right back on our heels. Hands like so. Bring your hands to your waist like this. And these are your bee wings. Have them slightly back so that your chest is up and out. This is our honeybee seat. We're going to practice breathing like a bee. So let's do two bee breaths. I'll do one first, and then we'll do two together. So watch me. Let's do two together now. Big breath in, and buzz on the way out. One more. You can flap your wings this time when you buzz. Big breath in. And buzz. Very good. Hands back down on your knees. We're going to now practice being butterflies. So sit down on your mat and bring your legs in front. Not crisscross this time, but feet together so that your knees are up slightly. These are one pair of wings. And then let's have our arms like so to be another pair of wings. So now we're like a butterfly. The first position we should take when we think about a butterfly is maybe a flying butterfly. So to do this, bring your hands down on the mat right behind you and then lift up, look up, and gently bend your back. This is a flying butterfly. Breathe in and out. And sit back up. Now we're going to be a tired butterfly. So put your hands down on the mat like so, and we're going to breathe in, and as we breathe out, we're just going to bend over. Pretend like we're relaxing. Breathe in. And now bend over as you breathe out. Tired butterfly. Breathe in and come back up. Now let's pretend that we're flying around again and we want to make a turn. To do this, we're going to have to bend to the side. So get your other set of wings up here. Breathe in, and then you're going to lean to one side as you breathe out. And out. And breathe in again as you come back up. Let's bend over the other way. And out. Breathe in again. Now we're going to twist. So we're going to breathe in. And as we breathe out, we're going to twist. And breathe in to come back to center. And breathe out to us the other way. Breathe in, come back to center. Really good. Let's stand up now. You find lots of bees and butterflies around trees. And probably one of the most giving trees there is, is an apple tree. So let's pretend we're apple trees. So stand with your feet about hip distance apart. And you're gonna pick one leg and you're going to rotate on your heel with your foot out to the side like this and then bring the sole or the bottom of this foot up to your other leg. 
and then raise your arms up like so. And just relax. You can hold this as long as you like. And back down. Let's do the other side. So rotate out the other foot. Bring it up. Stick it on the bottom part of your other leg. And then bring your arms up like an apple tree. Breathing gently. side. We're going to pretend we're another insect that you find in gardens and that's a praying mantis. So begin by stepping one foot straight back. Then bring your arms up like so. You know how praying mantises have their hands up like this. And we're going to breathe in and as we breathe out we're going to bend that front knee and kind of sink down. So breathe in and breathe. Hold this just a second and breathe in and come up. Now let's put the other foot back. So you're going to step back with the opposite foot, straight back. Bring your arms up in praying mantis position. Breathe in and then that front knee. And stand back up. Excellent. Come back in to mountain position. Do you remember that? Feet slightly apart, shoulders back, hands down at your side. Now raise your arms up as you breathe in. And bend from your waist as you come down forward towards the mat. Just hang there like a chrysalis hanging on the apple tree. Now I'm going to turn to the side, like so, and I'm going to get down on my hands and knees and pretend that I'm a table, but since we're in the garden, I'm going to be a picnic table. Here I am, a picnic table. Now I'm going to creep my hands forward and come down on my forearms like this. And I'm going to pretend that I'm a baby garden snake. Wiggle a little bit. A baby garden snake. Now, what else do you find in gardens? You find grasshoppers. So put your face gently down on your mat. Stretch your arms back. Point your toes. And you're going to breathe in. And as you breathe out, raise your legs and your chest and your arms. And this is a grasshopper or a locust position. And back down. Put your hands under your shoulders and push back up into picnic table. There we go. Come back down and sit on your heels. I'm going to crawl a little bit forward on my mat and then I'm going to widen my feet so I can sit right down on the mat. Can you do that too? So your bottom is on the mat, your feet are out to the side here. This is like a tired bee. The bee is tired, so it's sitting on the garden bench. Imagine this. Then it's going to completely lie back and rest. See if you can do this too. Just lie back gently on your arms. And then when you get down low enough, you can lie completely back. Resting me. So, and we're going 
to pretend that we're on this garden bench. When we're at the bee, we've landed, and we are so completely tired that we're gonna stretch totally out. So let's begin with the bench again. Which looks like so. Hands straight down to the side, shoulders down, head up, toes pointing up. This is the garden bench and bzzz, we land. Now we're the bee, so let's lie down on our backs. And you can have your arms out to the side like bee wings. You can also put your feet together if you want to have your legs out like this for your other set of wings and be a butterfly rather than a bee or straighten your legs out like so. I want you to imagine that you're tired from collecting all the honey that you've been, all the nectar that you've been collecting all day to make honey and you just want to rest on this garden bench. You see the sun shining down through the leaves of the apple tree. See the beautiful apple flowers, all white. You relax. You can hear other bees buzzing around collecting nectar. Bzzz. And you can feel that warm sun on your wings, flap your wings a little bit. That feels so good. Now totally relaxing. Gently shut your eyes and relax even more. As you think about the warm sun shining down on you and the wonderful smell of the apple blossoms. Relaxing. Don't forget to breathe nice and deeply down in your belly as you relax even more, just for a little minute. as you bend your knees, and then turn on one side. So you're curled up like this. You can put your hands together and put them under your head and just rest here a minute. Be a bee resting in your side position. And then to sit up, you wanna stretch your top leg out straight. Take your top hand, Put it on the mat and push down on it. And then you can sit up straight. Let's sit up again in our B seat so that we're sitting on our heels. We're going to do two more B breaths. We're going to breathe in and send air down into our bellies and then we're going to buzz as we let the air out. So get your wings ready. Breathe in. And buzz. Bzzz. Breathe in. And buzz. Bzzz. 
Very good. Have you thought of some ways that you can be like a bee or a butterfly and be helpful to other people? It's especially nice when you help people in your family. Think about how you could do this. Could you maybe help make dinner? Or help pick up your bedroom or even the living room? Would these be good things to do to show your family how much you love them? Let's end by honoring each other. Put your hands together in a prayer position and put your thumbs right on your chest, right at your heart. Leave a slight gap between your hands. And we're going to give each other thanks by saying my heart to your heart. Let's do it this way. My heart to your heart. Again, let's practice. My heart to your heart. Thank you so much for joining Loudoun County Public Library's Yoga Time. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.